Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from AlexMercedCoder.com and this video is on structs in C. So structs are a way of defining types of data. So in other languages you have things like classes where you can define clusters of properties, meaning variables and methods, functions. Now in C, since C is sort of like the OG language, it you only have structs, which only which the Go programming language pretty much is the same, and I think Rust as well. But the thing is that you can structs are a collection of properties. So that means no methods. Okay, no so basically you can't have like functions of that the type. You can create standalone functions that work with that type, but not uh, um, the type itself is, is is separate. So in this case the way it would work, I say I'm gonna have a cat. So we define the type of the variables. So car name and then the character is gonna be up to 10 characters then I want the cat to have an age we'll say just age it's an integer cool so now I've defined my struct it's a cat now if I want to declare a new cat I can say struct cat that's the, the type declaration and then the name of the variable mittens Okay, now I can begin assigning mittens properties. So I can be like mittens dot age is two. Mittens dot well, I can't actually directly assign the name because it's in a character array. So I need to use the stir copy function. String copy function. And the way this works is I'm gonna copy two mittens dot name. I want mittens dot name to equal mittens okay so there now I've assigned the properties of mittens and <clears throat> you know um, cool then what I can do is print print F so this cat is this many years old okay and I put an n there that's our new line character there and then we have to put the variables to fill in the s that has to be a string so that's gonna be mittens.name and then a variable to fill in the d which has to be an integer which will be mittens.age okay and then that should do it okay so that sh this should work oh I forgot something Oh, forgot semicolons. Always the semicolons. Mittens is too many years old. Uh, I should just, there we go. Two years old. That should be better. But you see, it, I'll be able to kind of store data in mittens. And what's happening is that the computer is actually going to allocate enough memory to hold the data you want to hold for that struct. So that's why you be careful how many properties you add in a struct because the more properties in one single struct, the more memory that's going to naturally allocate when you create that struct. So my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. I'll see you guys later on.